Oh, alrighty then. So that was exciting. Yo, Cloud, here. And we get the PHS. Changing party members. Access the menu and select PHS. It can only be used on the world map or at a save point. So it's basically how you switch your party around. PHS will put us in constant contact with each other. Alright then, we're out of here. So, fun fact, PHS actually stands for Party Hensai System, which Hensai means editing. And it also stands for a personal handy phone system in Japan, or, you know, simply a cell phone. So, yeah. And of course, you can only use it at save points and, uh, the world map, so. So, yeah. So now we want to check out, check out the city, see what's going on. Listen to me. Just now, some guy in a black cloak walked east towards that grassy field. He's got the, this killer sword and looks real scary. So we gotta follow Sephiroth. A large part of this game from this point is following him around. Taurus, huh? Here are a few things you should know that will come in handy when you travel around the world. Want to hear what they are? Sure, why not? Tell me. Then let me explain how to use the world map. Well then, what do you want to know? Changing camera angles. First press camera to change the camera angle. There are two angles to choose from. Select the one you like. Then rotate the camera either way by pressing page up or page down. Try different angles until you find the one you like best. It makes the journey a lot more fun. Map indicators. Press start once to view the world map. There is a large and small map. Learn when to use which and you won't get lost. Press start twice to change the size of the map and once more to turn it off. Pretty easy, huh? Operating the buttons. Ride things by pressing assist and get off by pressing cancel. Th this isn't so hard either. Oh right, you can't dash on the world map, so make sure not to press cancel until you want to get off. Remember this because chocobos will run away as soon as you get off them, so be careful. It's kind of interesting, like, this far in the game and we're just now getting, like, tutorials on stuff. Once on the world map, you can access the menu to save your game anywhere. It's a good idea to save frequently. Yeah, it is. Well then, bon voyage. Alright. Thanks to the Mako Energy, Shinra Inc. developed for us. Everything's more convenient now. Cool. So let's check out some stuff. We can pick up a few items here and there. Got an ether from the closet. I don't know why they're hoarding ethers in their closet. Thanks to Mako Energy, life's pretty darn convenient. Thanks to Shinra. Don't you think? You're full of it. Hmm, but I'd hate to think of what life be... Like, without Mako energy. Uh... Um... Hello? <laughs> she, like, got stuck. Okay. Okay. Nothing else going on in here. Do, 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 do. How's it going? Mako energy's made things a lot more convenient, but a lot of plants and animals have been disappearing at a rapid pace. I think the the old life was better. Don't you think so? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, sure I'm right. You think so, don't you? Things were better when you could play with animals. Well, yeah. Obviously. Doo doo doo. Kind of looks like a chest there, but you can't actually open it. It's just kind of there. Okay, what else we got going on here? It's a dude! Did you say you came from Midgar? I used to live there too, but I heard they got lots of troubles lately. That they do. Freaking dog was stuck in the closet! That's not cool. Okay. What do we got up here? Do do do. Got another ether in the drawer, the cupboard, whatever that is. Locked, can't open it. 
So the interesting thing, the lock chest, it actually can't be opened. There have been rumors that it was part of a side quest, but it's it's, it's actually not. It's just locked and you can't do anything about it, so. There's actually a, a rumor going around that you could get like letters and stuff and the reward would be golem materia. But that doesn't actually exist, so. You gotta love rumors. There was a suspicious looking man in a black cloak. He was carrying a mean looking sword. So I heard. A pagoda! So you can come up here, pick up a Peacemaker, which is actually a weapon for a character that we're, 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 that we're not going to be getting for quite a while. So I don't know why you get it all the way back here, but there it is. Peacemaker! It's a long-range weapon. We can pick that up. I like how they got a pagoda in their house. Wish I had one. It'd be awesome. Da, na, 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 na. My older brother's so stupid. He's so embarrassing I could just puke. When I grow up, I'm going to be in soldier. That's why I'm training hard now. Training by running around the house. There's a guard source in the cupboard there. Anything else? I don't think so. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Alright, what, what do we got going on over here? I hear that the natural resources near the reactors are being sucked dry. We're better off with the Mako energy. Hmm. <laughs> I, he I heard President Shinra was killed, and his son Rufus, the new president, was badly hurt. Hey, I bet that's news to you. You're pretty smart. <laughs> Just between us, I heard it was the Ava what do you call that got President Shinra and his son killed. You don't say. Shinra's leading the world around by the nose, and you guys are just going to sit back and take it? I wouldn't say that. The famous floating city, Midgar. Just once I'd love to see it in person. You know, it's just outside. You could literally just walk outside and take a look at it. I'm just saying. Another ether in the closet. Ethers are like drugs to these people. I'm telling you. Is it true that Shinra makes monsters? It's true. Yeah, well, either way, as long as we use reactors, we can't stand up to Shinra. That's a shame. Nice clock on the wall. Do There's a chest there. The world's at peace. All's well. I got my health and enough to eat. All's well. Okay. So I think it's this guy. He'll be important much later on for a side quest. I think it's that guy. But we're not going to need to worry about that anytime soon. So there's like a... It looks kind of like a cave down here, but it's actually a bar. My old man was a miner, but he couldn't go to work after these monsters started appearing in the mithril mines. Now all he does is sit around getting drunk in the bar. That's a shame. Me, I used to work in a mine down south called Mithril Mine. But a while back, monsters started appearing. After that, business went to pot, and now I spend the days here drinking. That's too bad. I heard terrorists bombed a Midgar reactor. There have been a lot of dangerous accidents recently. I hate it. Just hate it. That's too bad. Looks like they got the news on the TV. It seems there was this group called Avalanche running around, but I guess Soldier finally wiped them out. Not really. How's it going? Stay out of the kitchen! Fine. Freaking people. So we got some shops here with some good stuff you definitely want to pick up. The item store. 
don't think we need anything here, do we? Not particularly. We don't really need to buy any items there. Materia store. So we, it'd be a good idea to pick up earth since we don't have any yet. And heal. Heal's very important. And if you missed any of the others, you, you could go ahead and pick them up. Da, 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 da. Weapon store. Anything we need. Got a mithril saber. The hard edge we have is better, but I still like to get one of every weapon. So, Cannonball. The uh, atomic scissors we stole is better, but we'll still get one of those. We can get a mithril claw for Tifa. Well, one of the few weapons you can't actually uh, steal from anyone, I don't think. Full metal staff. And we don't need any mithril armlets. Let's see. Give you the mithril claw. It's a nice upgrade. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe they were. Uh, let's see. We want... We can give you the earth. Give you the heal. It starts with Poisana. Which, of course, heals poison. We have to level it up before we get Esuna, which we definitely want to get. And we got Quake! It's a nice spell. Okay. So that takes care of that nonsense. So that's all we can do here. And we will be able to steal a better weapon for Tifa coming up, so... Ba -da -dum. So we want to head towards the Mithril Mine now. Do -do 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 -do. And I do kind of want to see what some of these weapons new models looks like, so we'll go ahead and try out the Mithril Saber. And the full metal staff. Do, 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 do. Ba -na -ba -ba -na -na -bum -bum -bum. So you can steal e ethers from these guys. Which, which, which probably wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. Mithril Claw! Bam! Bum bum! Ooh, look at that Mithril Saber! That looks pretty cool! I like how they changed a lot of the weapon designs in this version. That's definitely cool. Fire. The full metal staff al almost looks like some kind of, like, barbell. Which is nothing wrong with that. Dun, dun, dun. A mobile game. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, uh, other Final Fantasy VII based stuff that didn't come out here over here in the States. So I imagine they have a lot of interesting stuff to them. Okay. Um. I have a third all, uh, I, I suppose. 
guess I'll put that there. Did I not have that on before? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay. Do, 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 do. So I know there's an, a new enemy skill we can learn from an enemy in this area. Not from these guys, but... They're ostriches! Levricon. Nothing really too special about them, though. We can do a little Metro magic. Metro magic! Which is missiles for some reason. Couldn't steal anything. Bonk! Yeah. Yeah, this game had a lot of, like, spin-offs and different things like that. A lot of which was never e was never even localized. So here we have the Chocobo Ranch, which you actually have to come to unless you exploit a glitch to, to get past the next little area. Work. So you want to say work? Saying the second work won't actually do anything for some reason. And they'll do a little dance, because that's cool. Dum bum 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 bum! Why you whoa? And we get the Chocomog Materia, which is our, our very first summon. And the and it's very interesting because it actually has two attacks on it. The usual attack called Death Blow, which, which is a non-elemental attack that has a chance of doing stop. And th and then there's about a 5.86% chance that it'll do Fat Chocobo, which is non-elemental. It's a little bit more powerful, but it doesn't have any status. So, that's pretty much how that works. But an interesting thing is you can actually, uh, let's see, put it on your weapon and pair it with elemental material, and you can put wind on your weapon, which is pretty sweet. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm not too worried about that. Da, da, da. Give that to you. Tokomog! Takes 14 MP. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. So we can come over here, and this is basically an inn, if you need it. Choco Bill. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yeah. Hmm, then it's probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with the Chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgar Zolom. Actually, it's not. But... We'll, we'll go over that here in a bit. Midgazolum. It's a serpent lock creature over 30 feet tall. Sunlight is like f coming through my window. I don't like that. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks. To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Chocobilly's chocobo farm. To purchase a chocobo, please talk to my grandson. 
He's in the chocobo stales at the far right end of the farm. And you can also come over here and s s sleep at an inn if you want. Looking for an inn? How about a hundred gil a night? Nah. We don't really need to sleep. But if you need to, there it is. So we want to come over here. Ba -ba. It's Choco Billy. Do you want a chocobo? Mmm, give me one. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks? Old folks? We're like barely in our 20s, I think? We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? Where are they? You see those claw prints out there? Wild chocobos will appear in those areas. But if you don't have a chocobo lure, they won't come out. They're very cautious by nature. Chocobo lure? Chocobo lure is a top of Matidia which attracts chocobos. If you equip this, they'll come to you. But without it, they won't appear. Want to know how to catch a chocobo? How do I catch one? A wild chocobo always appears with other, with other monsters. But because you won't be able to catch it because of the monsters, that is why you must defeat the monsters first before you catch the chocobo. And then? Wild chocobos are really cautious. They'll run away from the smallest things. But if you use greens, they'll focus on them and won't run away. What else? Whatever you do, don't make chocobos angry. They're usually calm, but if you get them angry, you'll get hurt. Oh, and remember, once you get off a of chocobo, it'll escape. Alright. Well then, shall we get down to business? I'll sell you the chocobo lure for 2,000 gil right now. Okay. Thanks. Hey, you don't have enough. Oh, jeez. I really don't have enough. Oh, we gotta go get it, get into some battles. That's lame. Cole? Welcome! Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. So we gotta get into a few battles. So we get into a few battles. So you don't actually need the Chocobo. Basically to get across this, there's like a kind of a trick way to do it you just run across it and when the zolem is about to get to you just save your game and then reload and it'll spawn him somewhere else and then you can easily make it across but I'm not too worried about doing that so here we have Moo which has an enemy skill that we can learn we definitely want to do that it's one that can actually be very useful in certain situations Levericon! 200 HP. Couldn't steal anything. It's a squirrel! 210 HP. Sewer! Yeah, they actually have quite a few different attacks. Well, one of them being the, uh... Well, one of them being the, uh enemy skill that we want to learn. Yeah, l l l learning beta now is uh, probably not going to happen. Considering it'll probably kill everyone in one hit. But, yeah. The, the attack they don't really like using very often. So sometimes you you just gotta wait them out. Attacking them a little might help out. Sewer! Oh wow. That was on... Yeah, the, the, that sewer attack is quite powerful.
Dun dun. They actually don't have anything to steal from them. Bonk! Sinking! See, it usually takes them a while to use it for some reason. And it did, these guys do tend to be somewhat rare at times. Sometimes they just don't like to appear. But luckily we got them fairly quickly. Hot Springs! It healed me! Thank you. I don't want to end up killing you. Yes, yeah, so, so, sometimes Hot Springs heals you. Sometimes not. So... Like, I don't know if there's just like a percentage of which one it'll do. Bum bum bum. Eris has a limit break. Everybody does. Basically, be, be there. It is L4 suicide. Well, it worked on Cloud. Yeah, basically a any character that's levels are in a multiple of four, it will uh, put them in critical status and mini. And that's something you don't want. Bonk! Alright. We... We... We still don't have enough money. But we got... L4 Suicide. Causes critical small with levels and multiples of 4. So that can be useful. 